Okay, everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dawn Bennett. I am an International Institute for Hypnosis. And today I want to talk a little bit about the three stages of trance. So you may have heard the phrase, all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. And we put ourselves in trance all day long. So how do you know when you're in trance? How can you use it for your own healing? And how do we use this as hypnosis trainers and hypnotherapists in order to help people get the most healing, the most calm, to reduce uh, contributing factors to pain with hypnosis? So just after the show, we'll talk about that. <laughs> you can't think we'll do much. <laughs> so first of all, as I've mentioned in other videos, a light trance is something that we go into often. And in fact, most people, when they go into a light trance, just feel relaxed. They feel calm. Have you ever heard an athlete or a professional say like, oh yeah, I was in the zone. I was totally doing my thing and I was just in the zone. That is actually a light level of trance. So when you're in a light trance, you can be kind of um, relaxed and very focused like athletes and like um, business professionals, or you can be in a light trance and be driving automatically to the grocery store without even remembering how you're getting there or driving to the grocery store, but then accidentally driving home because your brain was in trance and you weren't paying attention to where you're going, right? So these are applications of how do we see light trance in everyday life. So when I'm working with clients and I bring them into a light trance, often what I'll do to make sure that they're actually in a trance is that I'll ask them, go ahead and close your eyes, make sure that you're nice and relaxed, and I'll talk them through some things, and then I'll ask them, see if you can even try. You may not even wanna to try to open your eyes. You may find them very, very heavy, and I'll see people like trying to open their eyes and not be able to. This is one thing that I use to help clients have a relaxation, understanding that, okay, we are in hypnotic trance. And now as they have already told me their goals and the purpose of why they're in and the things, the ways that they're looking for life to change, we can actually start now talking to the unconscious mind about what it needs, what the goals are and how to get there. The next level of trance is actually what we call a medium stage trance. When I'm going more into medium stage trances, and by the way, this is all in a spectrum, so it's not like category, category, category. So this is a spectrum of like, oh, I'm really, really light to I'm really, really deep. Just kind of like you can sleep really, really light or really, really deep. Same thing with hypnosis. So when we're talking more of that mid stage, that, that medium stage of trance, what I'm referring to is times that we can start working to purposely shift the body's sensations. So in other words, if people are experiencing some level of discomfort or pain, we can start looking at what are the emotional contributing factors to that. How can we have conversations with the unconscious mind whose prime directive is to keep us safe? So what is the awareness the body is bringing to us through these physical sensations? And actually working with the body and working with the unconscious mind to change the sensations so people have less experience of pain, right? So we're not diagnosing, treating, or curing, but what we are doing is we're working with the bodies natural systems, we're working with emotional contributing factors sometimes, we're working with the body's um, deeper knowledge and wisdom in order to shift sensation so people can have more comfort. So perhaps you can sleep better, perhaps you can focus more clearly, perhaps you have an, more of an awareness of hey every time this shows up it means I need to drink more water or I should eat a little bit healthier or whatever the thing is that your body is trying to tell you through these physical sensations. So we can work with helping your body numb those or soften those so you can function at a really, really high level for yourself. And once we get into deep levels of trance, this is kind of stuff that you see in stage shows, but this is where I can do post-hypnotic suggestions. So in other words, I can align what the client wants to see in their deeper life with their actual goals. So for example, every time you pick up the phone to make a business call, you find yourself with a rush of excitement and joy as you know that you're reaching out to serve the people that you're meant to serve, right? So now every time you pick up the phone, all of a sudden you're like, whoa, I'm so excited to call. 
and it can help people with their cold calling or with getting back to clients. It can be having difficult conversations. Every time you hear your partner say X, Y, Z word, and it normally makes you angry. Instead, now you're prompted to take a breath, <sighs> relax, and either disengage from the situation or think before speaking. So we talk about these situations ahead of time, how you tend to react, how you'd like to react instead. We can actually, when the body's in a deep trance, do this. So how does this work in your everyday life? Well, have you ever gone in the refrigerator and like you're looking for, let's say the pickles and you cannot find the pickles anywhere. And you're looking through the whole refrigerator like, I know I have pickles. I know I have pickles, where are the pickles? And then some comes up, they're like, they're right there in front of you. And you're like, how did I not see the pickles? They're right in front of me. In that way, you're in a deep trance. Now note, when we are in deep trance, we're also picking up suggestions from the television from whatever people are saying around us, from the music that's around. So we can actually be being programmed, quote unquote, and having our unconscious mind pick up programming while we're in deep levels of trance in our own daily life. So it's really important to do things like take a self-hypnosis class, work with a hypnotherapist, work with any kind of healer really, to help you make sure that what your unconscious mind is saying, doing, believing, how it's running your body, how it's running your mind, how it's running your choices is actually aligned with what you want. So those are the three kind of main levels of trance. I hope you have a little bit of understanding of how they can be used in, or how to recognize them in your own life and also how we use them uh, in hypnosis. So remember that you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable, and I look forward to seeing you in my upcoming hypnosis tracks or my classes, which you can look up down below. Please subscribe if you're interested. And remember all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. So as you explore my tracks in times to come, allow yourself to be in a place where you know that you deserve the healing and the love.